Good morning, this is Hidayah and you are watching headlines with the Real Kashmir News. Snow slide traps 26-year-old man in Marchal. Wife escapes narrowly. Search started by locals and army at the site. Need full transparency. Supreme Court's no to center seal cover. Suggestions on Hindenburg Adani Road. Justice D.Y. Chandra Chaud said the court will select experts and maintain full transparency. All IGNO degrees, including MSc, ENV recognized by UGC, further all degrees, diploma certificates awarded by IGNO, are recognized by all the member institutions of the Association of India Universities. Lieutenant Gardner has made it clear that small landholders won't be touched in eviction drive. Divcom. No need to trek six hours. Bits open for ropeway to reach Mata Vashno Devi Shrine in six minutes. The Rs 250 crore 2.4 km ropeway project will consist of a gondola cable car system. Supreme Court to take decision on early listing of pleas challenging Article 370 abrogation. All right, I will take a call on it, the CGI said as per the report. Man found dead at Karanagar in Srinagar. The body of a person aged 20 to 22 years has been taken to SMHS hospital. Light intensity tremor felt in Jumun Kashmir. Riyasi. No casualty or damage to property was reported from anywhere so far. Officials Dry weather with partially cloudy sky likely in Jammu and Kashmir. Srinagar recorded 2.8 degrees Celsius, Pahalgam minus 0.9 and Gulmarg 0.2 degrees as the minimum temperature. Revenue official orders demarcation of Port Hospital to check for any encroachments, the hospital authority suspected that a big chunk of land has been encroached, apparently. On Thursday's Kamarwari incident, police say no firing incident took place. No revenue official fired at clarifies police spokesman. Srinagar Jammu National Highway remained open for two-way traffic of light motor vehicle and one-way traffic of heavy motor vehicle to Kashmir on Thursday. Temperatures show upward trend in Jammu and Kashmir. India's meteorological department predicts moderate snowfall in Ladakh on Sunday. Union Cabinet Committee approves 4.1 km Shinkula Tunnel. Gutwa Gang Rape, Delhi High Court orders transfer of money paid by Media House to Jammu and Kashmir sexual assault victims. Taking note of the Media House's apology, the bench had suggested that they give wide publicity to the statutory provisions regarding privacy of victims of sexual offences and punishment for revealing their identities. Women bear the burnt of water woes in Budgaon village. Such is a crisis that a partially blind woman doesn't pray for her vision anymore. I just pray for water, she says. With this, I am bidding you a goodbye. Stay connected for more updates.